The reason we're going to set up units in 3ds Max and 3ds Max design is so that we are working consistently throughout the lessons. So when I tell you enter 10 feet, for instance, you enter 10 feet and not 10 millimeters or 10 centimeters. What we're going to do is set up the display units to use architectural units feet with fractional inches. We've chosen this unit setup because it's fairly standard a configuration in architecture and design and will work well for the lessons that we are going to go through. If you do use the metric system, options are available in both the display units and the system units to utilize metric sizes as well. Maintaining standards for a project can make production of that project a little easier because everyone will be starting from the same template file. This template file is named maxstart.max and is loaded whenever you start 3ds Max or reset 3ds Max. It allows you to preload parameters like grid spacing and viewport layouts. We're going to do this primarily for consistency. However, you can always go back to your company standards at a later time without any problem whatsoever. So now let's start 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design and have some fun. Let's first configure our working display units. Make sure you have 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design open. Your interface may not look exactly like mine. Again, it depends on which version of the software you're running and if you've been working in it or not. Don't worry about this. We're going to set up the interface so that we're all working with the same unit setup. The first thing we'll do is look at our units. If we check down here in this small window in the middle of the display status line, we'll see that the grid spacing is currently set to 10 units. Well, what are those units? Inches if you're using imperial units, or if you're using metric units, they may be millimeters or centimeters. Right now, they're just generic and could be anything. We want to make sure that we're consistent in our units. We're going to use the Customize pull-down menu. On the main menu, click Customize. In the drop-down menu, click Units Setup. We have two places we can set up units. There are the system units and the display units. The display units are the only units we're concerned with right now. By default, when you start 3ds Max, it uses something called generic units. However, we're going to change these and use a different option, US Standard. If you're using 3ds Max Design, this option may already be selected. Go ahead and click on the radio button for US standard and select feet with fractional inches from the drop down list. Then we'll set the rounding to one eighth of an inch. That's going to be fine for our requirements in these lessons. So we have US standard set to feet with fractional inches with a rounding of one eighth inch. This option is not something you will need to edit, but let me take a minute and show you the system unit setup. By default, the system units in the US version are set to one unit equals one inch. This value represents the internal mathematical value that 3ds Max uses for measurement calculation. If you're using metric units, this option may be set for one unit equals one millimeter or one centimeter. We'll leave the system units alone because there's no need for us to change them at this point. And as a general rule, you should not change these unless you absolutely need to change them. So go ahead and cancel out of the system units if you opened it up. Then in the unit setup dialog, click OK. Now if we look at our grid spacing, it's set to zero feet, 10 inches. It's the same distance. However, now we're looking at that distance as displayed in US standard units. 